bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the University of Puget Sound campus, lovely campus in Tacoma, Washington. Joining me right now, Ryan Hodgson, who is founder and CEO of Team Up for Nonprofits, which began at the beginning of this year. Ryan, thanks so much for coming on the program. Great to be here, Sabrina. So what is Team Up for Nonprofits? We are a nonprofit which actually build capacity for other nonprofits through music events. Um, and we we work very hard to produce music events that are gonna not only raise funds for these nonprofits that we work with, but also raise a lot of awareness to younger generations, the 20s and 30s in our community. Music events, why music? Uh, we chose music uh, as a vehicle to get to the 20s and 30s. It, it very much uh, is uh, part of uh, the Seattle scene. Music scene's very famous, actually nonprofits and music, so it seemed like a really good match to put the two together and, and create a nonprofit that uh, was, a f was creating events that were fun and accessible. And the idea was to provide uh, people with an option to the auction model, which gets used a lot. And we wanted to refine the benefit process, make them great fun and accessible to the younger generations and, and start really cultivating their involvement in philanthropy and in introduce them to nonprofits they may not, may not have heard before. People really connect with music, uh, people of all ages. Um, it, particular kind of music or no, it actually anything goes? Yeah, well, we try and match. When we identify the nonprofit we want to support, we actually um, look at their supporter base and who they want to reach and try and uh, cater to that demographic um, and that, you know, that type of person, identify who that person is, what kind of music they like, and then we go after those kind of, those kind of bands to try and um, you know, make it a, a right fit for them. And so how does this all work? I know you have benefits, gigs for good benefits. Explain how they work. Yeah, well, Team Up for Nonprofits does a number of things, but the main thing we do is our program, program of events, which we call Gigs for Good. And uh, obviously, in, it is what it is. It's, it's, we wanted to come up with a name which wasn't music, events, benefits, or anything like that. <laughs> a little so, catchier. Yeah, we wanted yeah. to come up with something. And also, you know, we really use social media, um, and it's a, a tag that we can use on social media platforms that allows... Uh, people to search for us and and uh, and know know that program of events that we and identify with that program of events that we produce to raise money and obviously it's self-explanatory. And you just had a, a fairly recent one, correct? We did. We had a wonderful event at the Triple Door uh, for a nonprofit called Bike Works down at Columbia City, and uh, we had an urban roots band from Canada play, and we had a, a great crowd and we raised some great funds. And in the process of marketing the event, we also were able to build a lot of awareness for that nonprofit as well. So it's it's all of those elements that come together. A lot of nonprofits out there. So how do you go about deciding which nonprofits to team up with? Well, I think that, that absolutely there's so many nonprofits. And so what we've done is create an application process, which you can get at teamupfornonprofits.org. Um, so interested nonprofits can go to our website and download an application. Um, but the way that we choose nonprofits is to try and actually have a blend of the different types of nonprofits, the different services they provide, whether it be education through the social justice, through to arts, we try and environment, and so on. We try and we're trying very hard to um, cross all the genres of nonprofits, but also in terms of big and small, help the small nonprofits, but also help some of the bigger nonprofits who may struggle to get to the audience that we target, the 20s and 30s. So there's a there's a lot of ingredients that go into the selection process, but you know we we want it to be as diverse as we possibly can. You've got some criteria, Washington-based. Washington-based, um, and just and obviously they want to have to target the 20s and 30s. I mean, there's no reason for us to get involved with them if they're not interested in that. And they need to be involved in the whole process, correct? Absolutely. I mean, what we try and do is make it um, as little impact for them as possible. Obviously, when um, nonprofits do any events, auctions or benefits, they come off mission. The work that they do, the great work they do, they have to stop to put on an event. So it's our mission to do that. So in that sense, um, we try really hard to minimize the amount of work that they need to do, but we also want to cater to the, their supporters who maybe don't come to the auctions, mm -hmm. who maybe are on their list, but they don't necessarily have the time to cultivate events that actually are going to draw them in. So that's what we do. Ryan Hodgson, founder and CEO, Team Up for Nonprofits. Thanks so much for coming on the program and good luck to you. It sounds Thank great. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top of the hour. Mm -hmm.